hello in this video I will show you how to analyze cell cycle in BD accuracy 6 software first open the workspace and in I have taken here 231 control a1 so in a1 in first gate in first plot I have taken density plot which is a side scatter versus forward scatter first select your cell and then uh, for singlet I have taken forward scatter height versus area so I will zoom this one and select your singlets these are your singlets which is a very dense population then we need to get the single uh, cycle singlet so I have taken FL2 height versus FL2 A so providium iodide emission is recorded in FL2 of uh, BD accuracy 6 here I will take so I will name this one as singlet and here I will take only singlets in this plot and I will zoom on this one so can you see this so now these are your singlets for cell cycle so now get a polygon put a polygonal gate over this one okay now in histogram plot so select p5 so gate name is p5 so select p5 you get okay this is your cell cycle so but here it's in log scale but cell cycle analysis should be done in linear scale you can do it in log scale also but linear would be much better so i'll show you once again click on plot specifications change the x axis to linear scale apply and then use the zoom tool you can see the cell cycle now can you see the cell cycle this is g0 z1 phase s phase g2 m phase so what i will do now i will gate this is sub g1 so i will name it as sub g1 okay so now what i will do is i will put a gate on this region this is your g2 g1 phase sorry zero g0 g1 phase now this is your g0 g1 phase now I'll put another gate here for s phase this is your s phase okay now g2 this is your g2 m phase G2 M G2 M phase. So here you already put the gate. If you want to see the median, just go to display and show median statistics. Here you can see the median statistics and percentage of the plot also you can see here in this plot. This is plot number four. In plot number four, total is hundred percent. So in how many are there in sub G1? 3.49 then g0 g1 then s then g2 m phase okay so now you are all set so now you can just go to your this is so this one i showed you for 231 md md 231 control so now you can just click on next samples that you have run already so you can see the difference in g0 sub g1 s or g2 m phase this is You can see the shift or your percentage of your cells in G0 or S or G2M or sub G1. Okay, so let's say you want to export all these in PPT file. Just go to batch analysis, click on all the plots which are plots from manual collect, and 
click on whichever you want and then show statistic just go to export powerpoint let's say you want to plot after any you want statistics table after the plots for each sample just click on ok and uh, I will save it on desktop so cell cycle ok cell cycle dot ppt just click on save ok it will export it to uh, powerpoint depending on the file size it will take some time so this is your cell cycle ok let's say you want to overlay oh you want to see the overlay just go to analyze tab click on this plot and take fl2 and make it to linear okay now click on a1 okay just get it as t5 here you can see the 231 control so let's say you want to see the overlay just click on a2 you can see the overlay a3 a4 a5 okay you can see yes overlay histogram legend so which color is assigned to which one you can see okay that's it this is very simple software you can easily uh, analyze your cell cycle so in next video i will uh, I will talk about apoptosis analysis. Thank you. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for next video. Thank you.